guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing another cage theme tour. Cage tour theme. Uh, <laughs> something like that. It's a themed cage tour. Ah, there we go. Okay, so anyways, this theme cage tour is going to be a sort of Easter spring one. And as you can see, I have really decked out the cage to try and make it as thematic as possible. Although I don't have very many items that really work for these months, so, uh, the little Easter eggs that I printed out are doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the cage. So, I think I'm going to start with the top unit because, well, it's just right there. So here you can see a little egg. Hello, egg. I just put the rats back, so this is actually their first time exploring it. Before this, they were in their travel cage, so they were not super pleased, um, but they're happy to be out now. Anyways, to get started, we first have the side where we have the 12 ounce Choco No Drip water bottle. I have three of these in the cage, and these are really nice because you can easily just take them off from the outside without even opening the cage. Uh, however, they can be a little bit hard to depress for young or old rats. So because of that, I like to make sure I have other water sources as well, just in case the rats ever can't drink from them. Um, but they are very reliable. It's not that they don't work. It's just that they're a little bit harder to depress uh, than some other water bottles. Anyways, moving on to this next thing. This is the bird foraging toy known as the bird food tumbler. I get a lot of questions about this one. I got it from PetSmart when they were changing their All Living Things brand. Uh, and because of that, it was very cheap. Uh, usually it's a fairly expensive foraging toy, but it will last forever. So it's one of those that's actually really worth it. But basically the rats have to turn it in order to get food to fall down into the tube. And it's very easy when it's really full like this, but the lower it gets, the harder it is for them to get the food out and the more they have to turn it. So it's a really fun enrichment toy and one that I really recommend for rats because it's just so much fun for them. Anyways, moving on from that, we have my Oasis four ounce water bottle. I have several of these in the cage as well. And these are super awesome because they have these little metal holders. Uh, they are also very, very reliable. I have had mine for several years and through gerbils and hamsters and now rats, and they just work really well. Uh, they are also super easy to depress and they never leak. So they're just like my perfect water bottle, but they only come in four and eight ounces. So they're very small, which is unfortunate. Uh, so I only have a few of these in the cage to supplement my other water bottles. Now the next thing is this All Living Things bird food holder. Uh, this is from PetSmart as well. And it's basically just a little hooded food holder for birds uh, that attaches to the cage bars, as you can see here. And I have chosen to use mine as a water bowl for my rats because the nice thing about this is that it allows them to have access to fresh open water, but the hood prevents things from falling in. And it also discourages the rats from peeing in it and also helps to prevent them from putting any sort of things in it because it's raised. Uh, if you ever raise a food or water source, you'll find that your rats are much less likely to put things in it. And in the case of this one in particular, the hood also helps with that. So it's just a really nice way to give them open source water. Now in the back, I have a cubed hammock. This one has some dots. Uh, I got this from someone on Instagram a while back and it's a really nice hammock. I've had it for, I think maybe two years now and it survived a lot of washings and the rats really seem to like it. We have this little peekaboo hammock. It's hard to show you, here you go. And that one comes from the Rodent Boutique, uh, which is also on Instagram. They also have their own website. And I've had that one for, I think a year now. And it's also survived a few washings and the rats really like that one as well. In the back, I have a Space Pod slash Sputnik. Uh, they're the same thing, it just depends on where you are. And this one is pink and purple. And then I have a Katie Knot Nibbler next to it which I believe I got from Ratty Box a while back. Uh, then up here, I have the shelf. This thing is likely a locker shelf of sorts. I got it from my grandma a while back. And then this thing here is a metal cookie pan. And I just put some of my little bedding on it. Uh, the bedding is yesterday's news. And then I have the top of a Rodney Space Igloo right here. And then I have a full Rodney Space Igloo here with purple and pink. And inside it, I have some paper towel along with some cardboard for the rats to chew up. And then right above that, I have a tie-dye hammock, which is something I made from an old holy tie-dye t-shirt. Uh, this tie-dye t-shirt was from when I was like 12, so it's uh, it's been a little bit small and holy for a while. Next to that, we have a lava ledge. This one is pretty exciting because I found that I had a new unopened lava ledge just sitting in my storage room. So I was very excited to find that because most of my rats' lava ledges are... Uh, <laughs> a little bit raggedy looking. Those are all there to act as little stepping stones for the rats. 
and they really enjoy running around and jumping on the lava ledges and just having different ways to get to different parts of the cage. And right here I have this little metal food bowl. The nice thing about this is that you can actually lift out the food bowl from the little holder, so it's really easy to refill. Then right here we have a medium bird rope which attaches to the cage bars. That's also from Ratty Box. They send so many cool things and the bird ropes are definitely some of my favorites. Uh, and coincidentally, we have another bird rope over here, which is also from Ratty Box. This one is the smaller version, but it works just as well. And the rats enjoy perching on there and staring at me from the cage doors. Uh, and then Egg over here was sitting on this lava ledge. I think I mentioned it earlier. But right below this lava ledge is this nice little level thing. I've been told this is probably a plate holder. I got it from a thrift shop a long time ago for a pretty good price. And of course, I immediately thought, Hey, I think I can use that in my rat cage. Anyways, this whatever it is, is being held up with some stainless steel zip ties, which then have some C-clips and some little metal hooks. And then it has this fabric it's setting on. This is some fleece, I believe, from Joann's. And then you have this little bed thing. If you saw my recent video on the Rodent Boutique, then you will recognize this. This is something from the newer review I did for them on some of their newer products. And this is their small cuddle cup bed. And it's super soft and the rats really like it, so. Very excited to put it in their cage so they can kind of rest there when they want. Now moving up, we have this pillowcase holder, which just is, uh, well, a pillowcase holder that I have hung up with some C-clips. It has some fleece scraps in it for the rats to nest with. And then right behind it, we have my first double-decker shelf. This is a double-decker closet shelf. You can find these at like Home Depot or Lowe's. And they are really nice for the rat cage because I hang mine up with C-clips and then they have some fabric that I binder clip on so that the holes don't cause any issues. And then they make perfect little landing levels for the rats as they climb around the cage. You will see the other ones that I have in the cage soon because I have a lot of these. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the top unit. You've seen everything there is to see up here. Here. So let's go ahead and move down. Okay, so moving down, it is a little bit of a mess. So let's go over everything I have here. First of all, we have this little shelf. This is a bathroom shelf that I got from a store called Tuesday Morning. Anyways, I got this from them a few years ago. And the nice thing about it is it just hooks over the coordination like this. So it's very easy to remove and clean. And I just have some fabric binder clipped onto it, along with a Katie rat shoe above it. Moving on to the other side, we have another of those double-decker closet shelves. This also has some fabric binder clipped on, and then it also has this little snack toy called the snack rack. It's made for parrots, and the rats have to basically rotate the rings in order to align an internal mechanism, and then the rings will fall down and they can get to the food. And they really like this toy. They seriously will open it up several times a week, uh, so I like to keep it in the cage just because they seem to really enjoy opening it. Anyways, the next thing here is this little chew toy. This also comes from the Rota Boutique. And it's just a cute little chew toy with a bunch of willow stuff on it, along with some corn husk, which means that by the end of today, it's going to be chewed. So I better show it to you now before it's gone. And I would like to quickly give an honorable mention to this printed out egg background. Uh, I put this in here to kind of give the cage a little bit more of a thematic look. And my printer decided to die and randomly put white lines through everything. So that is, uh, that's why it looks a little bit strange. Oh, good. We get to see the omelets and eat. Really, guys? <laughs> oh, that's rats for you. Uh, anyways, getting to the inside bits. First up, we have this adorable basket chew from the Rodent Boutique. This is seriously the cutest chew I've ever seen, and the rats are really showing a lot of interest in that basket, so you just know that, again, by the end of the day, that is going to be gone, so savor it while it lasts. Oh my gosh, they're really going at it. What are you guys doing? Uh, okay, so getting back to the inside, we have this little rock-like structure, which is a part of an old fountain that my neighbors had. Uh, they got rid of it, so I took it in and cut out the fountain bits, and then I gave it to the rats. And it has two entrances, one here and one on the other side that the rats can squeeze through. They look small, but I promise the rats have no problem getting in there, and it's completely hollow inside. It also acts as a stepping point to the wheel and other things, uh, but as you can see right now, I've covered it in some scraps of t-shirt which is from another tie-dye shirt I've had forever, but this one was even holier, so it just became a bunch of scrap fabric for the rats to nest with, and uh, well, I just put it on the rock to make it look a little bit more festive before the rats inevitably bring it somewhere else. Now moving up to the wheel, this is the 15-inch chin sprint from Exotic Nutrition, 
and the rats really like this wheel. They have had it for a few years now and they really love to run in it. I've also put some egg background on the wheel to make it again a little bit more festive. Now moving to the back, you can see I have another of the four ounce Oasis water bottles and next to it I have a little food cup made for birds which I put some of the rats oxbow in and I've also gone ahead and taped on some more of this printer stuff uh, with eggs on it to again make it more thematic. That is a bit of a theme here. Moving to the middle we have this little structure thing. This is a sink organizer from my local thrift store and I got really lucky with it because the rats really love running around on it. Plus it's really good for holding hammocks in the middle of the cage. So this one has a yellow hammock clipped up top and that is just made from a fabric rectangle from Michaels. And then down below I have a little fabric square which I made by cutting up some of the Joann's fleece. And then below it I have some more fleece cut into a rectangle-ish shape which is also hung up and then finally below that you have this little hide which is made from a bucket from our Dollar Tree which just has some cardboard inside and is festively decorated with eggs. On top of that you have three of these Pringles cans and then next to that you can see another space pod slash Sputnik and that one is also purple and pink. I would like to show you one more thing before we move on and that is this opening. I get questions a lot about if these two bottom units are connected and indeed they are. As you can see I can reach through and touch everything in here. Uh, so the rats have the entire cage open. They're able to go up like this and to the side. So it's all open and the rats all enjoy the space. Anyways, let's move on to the final unit. Okay, we have finally reached the last unit. So this one is a lot of fun because it has my rat's favorite thing in it, the dig box. Um, but I think I should start over here. So first up, we have the third and final one of my closet shelves, just like the other ones. This one is held up by some C-clips and this has some fabric binder clipped onto it. This one also has this little chew toy on it. This is from Ratty Box and the rats really enjoy chewing these up. It also has another Katie chew toy next to it, which is awesome from Ratty Box and the rats again also enjoy chewing it up. Now moving to the inside, first up we have this eight ounce Oasis water bottle, which is the purple one in the back. Uh, and then we have this little bottom of a space pod next to another one of these Dollar Tree buckets, which has a little hole cut in it for the rats to go inside. And then another Dollar Tree bucket, which has been hung up and it has some tissues and paper towel and some cardboard in it for the rats to chew up. And then to the side, we have my other two Choco No Drip water bottles, which again are 12 ounces plus another of the four ounce Oasis water bottles. See, I told you I had a lot of water sources in this cage. And then finally, we have this foraging toy for the rats, which is called the foraging wheel. It's made for birds, like most of my rats foraging toys, but it's a very fun foraging toy for rats. And the way it works is that it has these two little openings and the rats have to push it like this in order to get to different segments. And when it's less full, it definitely becomes more of a challenge. Now moving to the middle, we have my rat's favorite thing, which is the dig box. This is a 20 gallon tank which I have filled with tons of this crinkly bedding. Uh, this is just crinkled paper. I buy it in 10 pound boxes and the nice thing about using this bedding in particular is that it holds burrow shape really well and it also is not very messy. So unlike dirt you don't really have to do anything special and it also doesn't get everywhere which is really nice. That's not to say dirt isn't awesome because I think dirt is really the ideal digging choice uh, but if you can't use dirt or it's just too messy for you then I think this crinkled paper is the second best option. Moving to the the tank's accessories. We have a few Easter eggs. You can see there is an egg over there. And then I also have three more eggs, uh, which are all just taped to the front of the dig tank, just to give it a little bit more of a thematic look. And then moving up, we have another of my Critter Nation shelves, uh, which has been decorated appropriately. And that has this adorable little tunnel. I believe this is also from the Rodent Boutique. And next to it, I have this pretzel chew from Ratty Box. And then in the back, I have a Rodney Space Igloo top, along with another Dollar Tree bucket turned into a house. And then going to the very top, you can see my second tie-dye hammock, which is actually the second part of the shirt used to make the first tie-dye hammock up there. And then down here, you can see this little floral hammock, which has been hung upside down, which might seem weird to you. But I found out that my rats actually enjoy sleeping in hammocks that are hung this way that are double deckers and I don't know why but they're obsessed with them so this is now how I hang them in the cage and they particularly like them in this one spot so uh <laughs> expect to see a lot of weird upside down hammocks here anyways this one is just a nice little floral double decker hammock that's hung up with some c-clips okay so that is it for this cage tour the last thing I want to talk about is these metal pans these are stainless steel three inch metal deep pans from the website Bass Equipment 
I got them, oh my gosh, was it three years ago? Oh, it's a long time ago. Anyways, I got them a while back and they are easily the best thing I've ever gotten for my Critter Nation. They just fit perfectly and they're great at keeping the bedding in the cage, which is the main issue I have with most Critter Nation pans. And I also love that they are metal instead of plastic, meaning that they are not going to rust and they are not going to be chewed. I do want to mention that if you get the galvanized pans, you will need to powder coat them or they will eventually rust. However, if you get the stainless steel like I did, then you don't have to do anything to them and they will last, well, a long time. I've talked to people who have had them for over 10 years, so this should be a nice long-term investment uh, and they are a little bit pricey, but I think they're more than worth it. Anyways, that's it for this cage tour, like I was saying. Okay, so here's an overview of the cage. I hope you enjoyed seeing this tour and seeing the rats kind of explore their area and I hope to see you next time. Bye!